Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-88 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the compound wooden beam is connected together by bolt at B, assuming that connection A, B, C and D exert only vertical forces on the beam, determine the required diameter of bolt at B and the required outer diameter of its washer. If allowable tensile stress for the bolt is 150 mega Pascal and allowable bearing stress for the wood is 28 mega Pascal. Assume the hole in the washer has the same diameter as the bolt. So you can see these are compound beams that are to connected together by a bolt at B and this reaction at A, B, C and D only exert vertical force. All other loadings are shown over here. Clear? So you have to determine the diameter of this bolt clear diameter of this bolt and the washer that is used the outer diameter of the washer that is used in this bolt so let's start with the solution so as this is a compound beam so what we will do is that we will first draw the free body diagram fbd of member or beam cd so you can see this is beam cd so there is a vertical reaction force of d at, at D which will be FD there is this load this load now the bolt will exert a load that will acting downward on this and this reaction force by the C will be upward so we will draw its free body diagram so let me draw it first let this is the beam clear you have to draw it this is point C, so we have a FC that will acting upward. This is C point. This is your D point, clear. So your force D will be also upward. FD. There is a 1.5, uh, 2 kilonewton load acting at a distance of 1.5 meter from this. So this distance is 1.5 meter. There is another load which is also 1.5 kilonewton and acting at a distance of 1.5 meter from the 2 kilonewton load now this is point b clear so the load that is acted upon by this the bolt acts on this member or beam cd is fb the distance between fc and fb is also 1.5 meter and from b till then this load is also 1.5 5 meter now we'll apply equation of equilibrium in order to find this fb and fc so what actually we are interested to find out this load fb so what we are going to do is that we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about point d is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so first moment about point d will be equal to this force fb and perpendicular distance is this sum of all this is 4.5 meter and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write fb into 4.5 the second moment that is produced due to this 1.5 kilo newton load and the perpendicular distance is 3 clear meter and this is also producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus 1.5 into 3 the third load which is producing moment is this 2 kilo newton and perpendicular distance is 1.5 about point d and it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so plus 2 into 1.5 and the last force which is producing moment about point d is fc and this whole perpendicular distance is 6 this distance is 6 meter and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative it will be negative so i will write minus fc multiplied by 6 is equal to 0 so from here this will be equal to 4.5 time fb minus 6 time fc and these two terms this and this term will give you minus plus 7.5 when move toward right side it will be minus 7.5 that this is your equation number one 
Now what we will do is we will take the free body diagram of this beam AB. So you can see there is a vertical reaction force. The C will now act downward on this and FB will be also upward on this and there is a load. So we will draw this free body diagram. So I will write free FBD of member AB. So let me draw the free body diagram again. So you can see this is point A. So you will be having a reaction, vertical reaction force, which is FA. There is a two kilonewton load, three kilonewton load. You can see this is three kilonewton load that is acting at a distance of two meter from this side. Let this is point C clear. So at C you will be having a force that will be acting downward. Why? Because you can see that this force at C will be upward. So as there is Newton third law, it will be acting downward. So this is F C clear and same F B here is downward. Clear. So here it will be upward. So let this point is your point B. So here it will be upward FB. Clear. And all the distance between the uh, distance between these two forces are three me two meter. Clear. And from C to B it is one point five meter. Now we will apply equation of equilibrium. So the equation of equilibrium which we will apply is sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A, one moment that is produced due to this FB and perpendicular distance is 2 plus 2 plus 1.5 is 5.5 and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive. So I will write FB into 5.5. Clear. The second moment that is produced due to this FC and perpendicular distance is 5, sorry 4, this is 2 and this is 2. So it will be 4 meter and it is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative. So I will write minus FC multiply by 4. The third moment will be produced due to 3 kilonewton load and perpendicular distance is 2 and this is producing clockwise so it will be also negative. So I will write minus 3 into 2 and the sum of all moment about point A must be equal to 0. So what we will get is 5.5 times FB minus 4 FC is equal to 6. So from here you will get 4 FC is equal to 5.5 times FB minus 6. And if you divide 4 on both sides, so you will get 5.5 divided by 4 FB minus 6 divided by 4. And that will give you 5.5 divided by 4 will give you 1.375 times FB and 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. And this is your equation number 2. Now what we will do is that put equation 2 in equation number 1 which is this one you can see so 4.5 times fb minus 6 times fc is 1.375 fb minus 1.5 is equal to minus 7.5 so 4.5 fb minus 6 multiplied by 1.375 is 8.25 times FB plus 6 multiplied by 1.5 is 9 is equal to minus 7.5 clear so minus uh, 4.5 minus 8.25 FB is minus 3.75 FB is equal to minus 7.5 minus 9 which is equal to minus 16.5 and if you divide minus 3.75 on both sides so you will get fb is equal to 4.4 kilo newton so this is the force in the bowl now put what we will do is that put fb in equation number two so you will get fc 
will be equal to 1.375 times FB is 4.4 minus 1.5 and you will get FC will be equal to 4.55 kilo Newton okay since we are in need of force in this bolt so now we will calculate the diameter of this bolt so what actually I will write is we have been given allowable stress for this bolt is given as which is equal to FB divided by area of bolt so FB is 4.4 kilo newtons so 4.4 into 10 to the power 3 area of bolt is pi by 4 diameter of bolt square clear so allowable stress for the bolt is 28 megapascal so i can write it 28 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to 4.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by pi by 4 db square so from here you will get db square is equal to 4.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by pi by 4 into 28 10 to the power 6 and if you take square root on both sides so you will get d diameter of bolt will be equal to 6 point sorry it will be 0 0.00611 meter our diameter of bolt will be equal to 6.11 millimeter so this is our answer of our first part now we'll move towards second part and in second part we have been asked to find the outer diameter of washer so for washer so you can see if this is a circular washer clear the inside diameter will be diameter of bolt so this will be db and we will need diameter of washer outer diameter clear this is dw so bearing stress you can see that this washer is in contact with this wooden piece so bearing pressure will be there so this allowable bearing stress for this wooden will be equal to fb divided by area of washer clear so fb is 4.4 kilo newtons so 4.4 into 10 to the power 3 and area of washer is pi by 4 dw square minus db square so d diameter of bolt in meter is 0.00611 so 0.00611 square and allowable stress for the wood is 28 megapascal okay so 28 megapascal so 28 into 10 raised to power 6 is equal to 4.4 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by pi by 4 into dw square minus 0.00611 square so when you calculate it dw you can now find it dw square will be uh, or dw when you calculate it it will be equal to 0.0154 meter or that will be 15.4 millimeter also make a correction that here allowable tensile stress for the bolt is 150 megapascal so i will write it as 150 megapascal correct it 150 megapascal so 150 here this will be also 150 and you will get this diameter of bolt so make this correction and that was all about this problem 1-88 I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.